Hello. Oh man, boy. I've sure heard quite a bunch about you. See, I was a good friend of your dad's. We were both in that how do I put a hell together over five years and hopefully you'll never have to experience this, but when two men are in a situation like me and your dad were for as long as we were, you take on certain responsibilities of the other. If it had been me, who would not made it. Right now, Private Coolidge will be talking to my son, Jim. But the way it turned out, I'm talking to you. Butch, I got something for you. This watch I got here it was first purchased by your great grandfather during the First World War. It was bought in a little general store in Knoxville, Tennessee. Made by the first company to ever make wristwatches. Up until then, people just carried pocket watches. It was bought by a private doughboy named Ryan Coolidge the day he set sail for Paris. This was your great grandfather's war watch, and he wore it every day he was in that war. And and done his duty, went home to your great-grandmother, took the watch off, put it in a coffee can, and in the can it stayed until Dane Coolidge, your grandfather, was called upon his country to go overseas and fight the Germans once again. This time they called it World War II. Your great-grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck. Unfortunately, Dane's luck wasn't as good as his old man. Dane was a Marine, and he was killed along with all the other Marines at the Battle of Wake Island. Your granddad was facing death. He knew it. None of those boys had any illusions that they were going to leave that island alive, so... Three days before the Japanese took the island, your granddad talked to a gunner on an Air Force transport named uh, Wanaki, a man he never met before in his life, to deliver to his infant son, whom he never met in flesh, his gold watch. Three days later, your granddad was dead, but Wanaki kept his word. After the war was over, he paid a visit to your grandmother and delivered to your infant father his dad's gold watch. This watch. Squatch it was on your dad's wrist when he was shot over Hanoi. He was captured, put in a Vietnamese prison camp. He knew that if the gooks ever saw the watch, they would confiscate it, take it away. And the way he saw it was, you know, this was your birthright. He'd be damned if any greasy slime ball got their hands on your birthright, so he hid it in the one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five years, your father wore this watch, up his ass, and then died of dysentery, give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for two years, and after seven years, I went home to my family, and now, little man, I give the watch to you.